All the rides, all the food, all the fun at the Barnstable County Fair, next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for July 22nd. We get dizzy, hungry, sticky, and crazy at the Barnstable County Fair in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In the bug thug department, those darn cicadas have left a final calling card on Cape Cod. Dead leaves and wilting branches on trees. That's where lady cicadas lay their eggs. Soon tiny cicada nymphs will fall to the ground, burrow in, and simmer for 17 years. In the Go West Young Firefighter Department, a crew of blaze busters from the Cape Cod National Seashore have been battling wildfires in the Los Padres National Forest in Central California. The Seashore crew works 16-hour shifts digging fire lines to help stop the blaze, which has consumed more than 137,000 acres. Hey folks, enough reality. Let's get back to the Barnstable County Fair. Cape Cass has been at the Barnstable County Fair all day, all night, and the fun continues as the midway lit up. Beautiful lights, dreams coming true for kids all over Cape Cod. Wait till you see what we did today. ride which spins really really fast as you can see and the centrifugal force makes makes your face and everything squeeze to the sides so I'm gonna go see what it's like oh man <laughs> this isn't a good idea <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> So, Caitlin, how was it in the starship? It was awful. I feel sick. Um, I don't, I'm really dizzy. Um, you guys are making me go on another ride, and I really don't want to. So, hopefully, it goes a little bit smoother than last time. I don't like rides, I don't like bees, but here I am in a giant bee that's about to fly around the Bonstable County Fair. Oh my god. Oh. This part of the centrifugal force is unbelievable. I think I'm stepping in honey. Oh no, it's just gum. After building up a kid-sized appetite on all the rides, we came up to Food Row, but we want something a little different. Not the corn dog or the deep-fried cheesecake. We saw something intriguing at the butcher block. Pot roast Sunday? Let's check it out. Sort of a uh, shepherd's pie theme to it, with the mashed potatoes, the corn, pot roast. It's like Sunday dinner in a bowl. Is that a maraschino cherry on top? That is not. That is a cherry tomato. Oh man, the meat is melt in your mouth, tender, savory, creamy potatoes. It tastes like the best Sunday ever. All I need is football, a couch, and some beer. My life will be complete. This is a successful concoction. Rob, tell me about this pot roast Sunday, and what have you been doing with them all week? I've been eating them. <laughs> uh, it's one of the best things I've ever seen as far as fair food goes. Is it fudge sauce or gravy? It's gravy, baby. <laughs> How many of these have you eaten this week? Uh, maybe five, and they've only been here three days. <laughs> and I'm going to have another one in about 20 minutes. 
So do you plan to hit double digits this fair? Yes, I do. <laughs> Maybe triple. <laughs> now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by the chainsaw sculpture guy at the fair. Goggles, please. For tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 68 and a chance of showers. And for Wednesday, mostly cloudy with a high near 80 and a chance of showers. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been CapeCast for July 22nd. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast.